We hope we're getting closer and closer right now. Let's look at some of those uh, very still tight races. So first up, the race for Arizona U.S. Senate. That seat has now officially been called. Democratic Congressman Ruben Gallego will be Arizona's next senator, beating Republican Carrie Lake. As you can see here, this thing uh, we've been keeping a close eye on. Gallego pretty much in the lead from election night. He's held on to this 50 percent lead, and now he has officially been declared the winner. He is now the state's first Latino senator. He will succeed retiring independent senator Kirsten Sinema a former Democrat. Now, let's take a look at the House Representative District 6 seat. The six seat. This has been a razor thin race. Juan Siscomani leading for the last few days, but just by a very small margin, facing Democratic challenger Kirsten Engel in a race that has gone back and forth. But uh, Siscomani keeps the lead at this point, 49% to 48%, still leading by about 4,000 votes. And he uh, is the incumbent. We're going to see what happens in this race. And of course, the last one that we really have been following very tightly is uh, the incumbent, uh, incumbent Chris Nanos. Will he retain his lead over Republican Heather Lappin? She is a lieutenant in his department, and this race has been very close to call. You've also seen the controversy that has surrounded this race. The Board of Supervisors have also been involved uh, attempting to censure Chris Nanos, he is uh, in the lead. They've got both got 50%, but still, as you can see with these numbers, separated by about 4,000 votes. And we'll see what happens when we get this new dump of ballots this afternoon. Monica.